Welcome to the CTTP training videos. ASTM C173, Standard Test Method for Air Content of Freshly Mixed Concrete by the Volumetric Method. This video demonstrates the determination of air content using the volumetric method for concrete containing less than 9% air. Equipment used in this test must conform with the specification requirements of ASTM C173. Dampen the measuring bowl and remove any standing water from the bottom of the measure. Using a scoop, fill the measuring bowl half full of concrete. Move the scoop around the perimeter to evenly distribute the concrete during placement. Rod the first layer 25 times with the rounded end of the tamping rod. Uniformly distribute the roddings across the surface. Penetrate the entire depth of the layer with each stroke, being careful not to damage the bottom of the measuring bowl. Tap the sides of the measuring bowl with the mallet 10 to 15 times to close the voids left by rotting and to release trapped air. For the second layer, scoop additional concrete into the measuring bowl until filled slightly above the rim. Evenly distribute the concrete during placement. Rod the second layer 25 times with the rounded end of the tamping rod. Penetrate the first layer about 1 inch with the rod on each stroke. Uniformly distribute the roddings across the surface. Tap the sides of the measuring bowl with the mallet 10 to 15 times to close the air voids left by rotting and to release trapped air. Add or remove representative portions of concrete as necessary to produce a slight excess of concrete an eighth of an inch or less above the rim of the measuring bowl. Do not rod any additions. Strike off the excess concrete using a strike off bar until the level of concrete is flush with the measuring bowl rim. Completely clean the flange and rim of the measuring bowl. Dampen the inside of the top section and rubber gasket. Place the top section directly over the measuring bowl. Ensure that the clamp is clean on the inside. Lower the clamp over the top section and attach the top section to the measuring bowl. Make sure that the clamp is secure and that no strings or cords are caught under the clamp. Insert the long necked funnel into the top section. Add at least one pint, which is equal to two cups of water, through the funnel. Add the selected amount of alcohol through the funnel. The amount of alcohol used during testing is typically two to three pints based on how much air is expected. Record the total amount of alcohol used. Add additional water through the funnel until the liquid level appears in the neck. Remove the funnel and adjust the liquid level to the zero mark so that the bottom of the meniscus is level with the zero mark found on the graduated neck. Attach and tighten the cap, producing a watertight seal. Invert the meter and shake horizontally to loosen the concrete from the base. Shake for no more than five seconds with the meter inverted to prevent lodging of the concrete within the neck. Return the meter to an upright position. Repeat the inversion and shaking process for a minimum of 45 seconds. The aggregate should be heard moving inside the meter. You may check the amount of foam in the neck. If more than 2% foam is present, you may shake longer to remove the foam. If a leak is detected, the test is invalid. Place the meter on a hard surface and tilt to a 45 degree angle. Grasping the flange with one hand and the neck with the other, roll the meter forward and backward about a quarter to half turn several times. Stop and start quickly so that the aggregate can be heard sliding in the base. Stop and turn the meter base one third turn and repeat rolling. Continue turning and rolling for approximately one minute. Set the meter upright and loosen the cap. When the liquid level appears stable, read the liquid level to the nearest 0.25%.
wait two minutes and read the liquid level again. Compare the readings. The liquid level is considered stable when it does not change by more than 0.25% over a two minute time period. A total of six minutes is allowed for the liquid level to stabilize. When stable, read the liquid level and record this value as the initial meter reading. If the liquid level does not stabilize or if more than 2% foam is present, discard the test and start over from the beginning using more alcohol. Reattach and tighten the cap. Repeat the turning and rolling process for approximately one minute. Set the meter upright and loosen the cap. Read the liquid level to the nearest 0.25%. Wait two minutes and read the liquid level again. Be careful when reading the liquid level as settlement may have occurred. If this has happened, simply shake the neck lightly to remix the liquid. Once stable, record the last reading as the final meter reading. If the initial meter reading and the final meter reading are within plus or minus 0.25% of each other, the meter may be dumped. If not, record the final meter reading as the initial meter reading and repeat the turning and rolling process a third time. If the new initial and new final meter readings are not within plus or minus 0.25% of each other, you must begin a new test using more alcohol. After recording the final meter reading, dump the meter by loosening the clamp and removing the top section from the measuring bowl. Grab the rim of the measuring bowl, invert the bowl, and shake to remove the concrete from the bowl. Examine the interior of the bowl. If undisturbed portions of concrete are detected, the test is invalid. If the bowl appears to be clean with the exception of sand particles, the test is valid. The final air content is equal to the final meter reading minus the alcohol correction factor for the number of pints of alcohol, as shown. If more than 9% air was present, add the number of calibrated cups of water. Report the air content to the nearest 0.25%. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.